Hello everyone, my name is Amy. Thank you so much for joining me here in the Sonoran Desert for this yoga class. So today's class is going to be a flow style class, um, but it's going to be perfect to just kind of get some body parts engaged, stretched out, and it'll get your heart rate up just a little bit, but nothing too much, more focusing on just connecting breath with movements as we build this flow. This flow is for any and all um, expert, expert levels, any and all levels of yoga are welcome here to practice this. You can intensify or modify as much as you need or want. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's start by standing at the top of our mat. Rooting both feet, all 10 toes down into the earth. Let's close the eyes or find a soft gaze and just reach the fingertips down towards the earth as you lift out of the crown of your head. Feel the length of your spine and allow your deep breaths to help you arrive to this place in space and time. Deep inhale, open the mouth, exhale. Let's do that two more times. Big inhale, drawing the breath down below the belly. Open the mouth, exhale. Next inhale, close the lips, inhale in through the nose. Exhale, keeping the lips closed, exhale out of the nose. Beautiful. Let's start to bring some movement in with this breath that we've cultivated. So as you inhale, reach the arms up overhead. And as you exhale, cactus the arms out down to the side, pulling the elbows down as you fold forward. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, bring your hands to shins, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, bring the hands down to the mat and step your right foot back, drop the back knee. Release the back toes. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up overhead. And as you exhale, send the hips back. Straighten that front leg, half split. Beautiful. Next inhale, bend into that front knee once more. Lift the heart, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down to frame that front foot. Come up off of the back knee and bring the back foot up to meet the front. Uttanasana, forward fold at the top of your space. Good. Inhale, hands to shins, lengthen out the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Step the left foot back this time and drop that back knee. Release the toes. Inhale, drop the hips and reach the arms up, lengthening through the side body. As you exhale, send the hips back, straighten that front foot, half split. Inhale, bend back into that front knee, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands down to frame the front foot, bring the back foot up to meet the front, forward fold, top of your space. Good. Inhale, flatten out the back. Exhale, fold down and step that right foot back once again. We're going to build here. Drop the back knee. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, send the hips back, straighten the front leg. Beautiful. On your next inhale, bend into that front knee and start to twist towards the left side, reaching your left fingertips up towards the sky. Good. As you exhale, bring that hand down to frame the front foot. This time we're going to step the front foot back into a plank pose. So lifting that back knee, finding a strong plank here. As you exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the earth. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Good. Slowly walk the feet up or jump the feet up to meet the hands. Inhale halfway, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. On your next inhale, step that left foot back. Drop the back knee. Inhale, heart and arms reach up. 
low lunge. Exhale, send the hips back, half splits. We're gonna continue that build here. So inhale, bend into that front knee, and this time reach the right arms up towards the sky as you twist through your thoracic spine to the right. Good. As you exhale, frame that front foot, step back to plank pose. Slowly lower halfway or all the way down to the earth. Inhale, lift that heart up. Exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. And once again, either walk or jump the feet up to meet the hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Let's continue. On your next inhale, reach that right leg back. Drop the back knee. Inhale, reach up, low lunge. Exhale, send the hips back, half splits. Inhale, bend into that front knee. Reach the left fingertips up towards the sky. As you exhale, bring that left hand down to frame the front foot. We're going to come up high off of the back knee and inhale, lift the arms up for high crescent lunge. Beautiful. Stay here for just one breath in this high lunge. Good. And as you exhale, we're going to put all the weight on that front foot. Bring the right knee up in towards the chest and then cross that right ankle over the left quad for a figure four, balancing figure four. So if you need to grab onto a chair, a couch, a friend, whatever to help with your balance, you are more than welcome to do that as we stay in this balance for just a couple more breaths, feeling that stretch on the outer right hip. Good. Next breath in, come out of the figure four shape, bring that right knee in towards the chest. And as slowly as you exhale, see how slowly you can send that right leg all the way back, all the way back all the way back, bending into the front knee until the toes find the ground and we're back in our high crescent lunge. One deep inhale here, reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, take those hands down to frame the front foot. Step the front foot back, plank pose. Lower all the way or halfway down here. Inhale, find that heart opening shape. Exhale, hips come up and back for downward facing dog good once again walk or jump the feet up to the hands inhale lift up halfway bring the hands to the shins exhale fold forward this time as you inhale step the left foot back drop the back knee inhale rise low lunge Exhale, send the hips back, straighten the front leg, half splits. Inhale, bend into that front foot once again, reach the right arms up towards the sky, finding a low lunge twist. Exhale, bring that hand down to frame the front foot, lift up off the back knee, reach the arms up high for your standing high crescent lunge. Really press the shoulders down the back here. We don't want shoulders up in the ears when just roll them back, press them down. Good. Take one more breath here. Good, and as you exhale, put all the weight in that front foot and send the left knee up in towards the chest. See if you can keep the balance. Coming to that standing figure four on this side. So crossing the left ankle over the right quad and sending the hips back allowing our outer left hip to get some space here, get some extra love, and bringing the hands or arms wherever helps you keep your balance. This is equal parts balance as it is stretch. One more breath here. Good, and as we come out of this figure four, see if you can bring that left knee back in towards the heart, keeping the balance. Slowly, slowly, slowly start to send it back, 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 back behind you, keeping the toes off the ground as long as possible, and then gently bringing the toes to the ground, landing in your high crescent lunge. Take one big, beautiful breath here. 
exhale bring the palms down to frame that foot step it back plank pose slowly lower halfway or all the way to your mat inhale upward facing dog or cobra and exhale send the hips up and back downward facing dog beautiful we're gonna stay in this down dog for just a couple of breaths so if a child's pose feels good to you here as well you're more than welcome to take that just giving ourselves a little break a little rest good good if you're in child's pose come back up into your down dog and either walk or jump the feet up to meet the hands inhale bring the hands to the shins lengthen the spine exhale fold forward press down through all four corners of the feet as you inhale reach the arms all the way up overhead exhale let's cactus those arms out to the side one more time bringing the elbows down to the waist inhale reach the fingertips long palms touch and exhale hands come down to heart center beautiful let's turn to face the long edge of the mat and let's bring the feet wider than hip distance just to a place where you feel stable feel like you can stand up without using your hands but you're gonna feel a stretch on in the inner thighs and the hamstrings here so let's bring the hands to the back of our waist elbows pointing behind you inhale lift the heart up find length in the spine and as you exhale keeping that length in your spine begin to fold forward and let's just go halfway right now so my spine is still long I have not rounded yet elbows are lifted up towards the sky my hips are pressing back now if it feels good you can start to release those hands down towards the floor or blocks and then slowly allow your body to just melt down towards the earth <sighs> shake it out shake that head yes and no just let everything fall out of the head out of the shoulders upper back maybe start to find some gentle movement rocking your hips side to side getting into those inner thighs giving them some love good let's keep the left hand planted on the mat and start to turn and twist towards your right and bring your right hand just to your right hip to start. So we wanna keep that length in the spine. Maybe it helps to have a block here for your hand. But keeping that length in the spine, just start to twist towards the right. Keep the right hand on the outside of your right waist. Now you can stay here or if it feels good, you can reach that right arm up towards the sky. One big inhale here exhale fold back down and let's take that to the other side so planting the right hand either on the ground or on a block and before we reach the arm all the way upward let's just place it at our low back make sure it's long not compressed make sure we're twisting from our thoracic spine and then if it feels good reach those left fingertips up towards the sky for one breath good exhale fold back down and in this wide-legged forward fold I want to invite you to start to walk your hands to the back long edge of your mat so it's like you're walking your fingers through your legs in the opposite direction of your head just notice how that feels good bring those hands back to center place them on your hips have a gentle bend in the knees. Engage the core, engage the glutes and strong legs. Lift your torso up. Heel toe the feet back in. Whew, good. Let's have the feet about hip distance here. We're gonna come into Malasana or Yogi Squat. So inhale, reach the arms all the way up. And as you exhale, just coming all the way down into our primal squat, our malasana pose. I find it helps me to turn my feet out a little bit, make some space for my hips. But really what's important here is that your sacrum, your tailbone is lower than your knees. 
So let's find this posture here. If this is difficult to hold, you can always place a block underneath your sit bones to help give you a little more support. Let's just take a few deep breaths here. Really focus on the breath, traveling all the way down your back, all the way into that sacrum, low back area, and creating space. Good, take one more breath here in your malasana. Perfect. And just bring your hands down behind you. Find a comfortable seat. Good. And once you're in your comfortable seat, let's bring the backs of the hands on top of the knees. Find either a soft gaze or close the eyes. Just take a couple breaths and maybe notice how different your body feels now than it did 15 minutes ago. Notice if there's more space, if it feels like there's been a release of some sort, whether that be of tension or stress. And maybe just feel a little more grounded and focused and open. Think about how we can carry that energy, carry that openness, that groundedness off of the mat into our lives and into the rest of your day. Stay here as long as you like. I thank you so much for joining me out here in the desert for this practice. I'll see you next time. Bye.